It's Newcastle United on the hunt for top four. We're currently in third, and we have a chance to destroy the remaining hopes of Arsenal fans. <laughs> Brian, <listen. laughs> killing us all, man. I can't believe you're, you're, having, doing this you're having a good couple of weeks, and I'm happy for you. But it's about to change. I'm going to get really pissed off if I have to continue to keep explaining to you that your team are doing well, but they are nowhere near ready for the big boy league. Oh, okay? bro. Oh, bro. On the contrary, you're going to find out who the fucking big boys are today, oh, right? Here we I like go. this. Look at this shit. I like it. Look We're going to outrun shit. you with Jacob Murphy. We can't wait. Yeah. Do you know what it is, right? This is actually, this could be a changing of the guard today, oh, right? I'm going to set this up. Because Arsenal have had a good season, but we're, we're like that beast. We're gaining on you. We're gaining on you. And there's like a 12-point yeah. gap between us. There's how, a 12-point gap this season, bro. <laughs> But what we're doing is when this new uh, sponsor we're getting, Champions League football we're getting, we've been signing players like Isak and Bruno when we didn't even have a prey. Now we're in the Champions League. There's there's nothing stopping us from moving straight into that number two spot. You can get a name and off. it starts today. Your club with the no history, season, no European we pedigree. Cement that. No, no world-class manager, and you're going to go and attract whom and what uh, to do uh, what? As Manchester City have proven, <laughs> history doesn't stand for shit. It cost them right? two and a half billion, and it took them 12 years and you know to what, get to be this you dominant. Know what, to be Respect fair, the game. You're, you're, you're right, but they told me when we were taking over that it would take us five years to get Champions League, and... Here we are. The well, this, this, this is not what, there yet. Relax. Yeah. Though. This is what I was yet. just going to say, though, because I feel like you manifested this, Brian. All these years of doing kickoff and speaking about Newcastle when they wasn't a top six oh, team, and beautiful. obviously it's your team, so you're going to talk about them, but now you can talk about them mate, in that conversation. It's a beautiful thing, and, and who could blame me for getting a little bit arrogant? You no, know but can I, mean? I just say something very important, though? Brian, as my friend, yeah, I'm really happy for you. Thank you. I love the fact that now you can sit at this table and have an adult conversation about football. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Your squad has about six less quality players in it than ours. Absolutely. It's impossible we'll to see what that say. does for you today, big lad. Mm. I think you need to be careful, though, Brian, at Newcastle, because the, the genius of what you've done this season has been the system has been that you can you don't have a reliance Eagles. on one person. Mm -hmm. It is all about mm -hmm. the team pressing, the team playing the way that they play. And I think that's the genius of what Eddie Howe does. And I'd be more worried if I were you, if I had seen Newcastle linked with Neymar or anybody like that. You should be getting the type of players that Liverpool will go after. Those yeah. players that are 30, 40 million that will, are hungry and will come in and won't be coming in, as, as my friend over here says, for the big payday or coming no, for the way. Right. There's, there's so many th reasons why you would join Arsenal over Newcastle now, yeah? It's abs the Newcastle should be talking about the likes of, like, Leicester vacating space, Tottenham are vacating space. That That's who you should be speaking about. There's no we're point speaking about we're Arsenal. Above Manchester United. Fuck yeah, but right now, because you didn't play in Europe. You're gonna, now you're going to play in Europe. You're going to play on Wednesdays. And if you finish third in the group stages, you're now going to go play on Thursdays. And you don't even have 15, 16 top quality players to rotate from. It's it's a completely different ball game. As Leicester have found out, as West Ham have found out, as Everton found out when they had their little run, it's very difficult to do. And there's like no respect for the fact that it's a really difficult thing to do. It's kind of just like, we've got money, so we will be able to well, buy. Where is this Any arsenal arrogance players, coming from, by the way? From Marvin's, from Marvin's, from Marvin's it's brain. Just, it's just, just about to flirt with it's the Champions educated. League again for the first time in a long time. And all You will not be in a Champions talking. League, so have Mate. all due respect. Please respect you Champions League football. You where you're European royal speaking. We're European royalty. To yourself. Well, if, if you want to talk about respect, my friend, we, we, <laughs> True. we own biggies. Yes. Where do you belong right now? In sixth. One season, my friend. You belong there, though. One season. That's where you belong. Yeah, you're that confident you're going to win today? No, I'm not really. I'm oh, honest. okay. Right. I, I, to, but, why not? Talking to us like we're but, not even here. Not? I'm fight where you think, all right, you're the better fighter than us, but we have a lot of attributes which could easily outdo you on the day. You played 38 games using two cup competitions, which you, which you didn't really performed that great in. And so now you've, you, you haven't played in Europe at all. You have a very small squad and they're overachieving, which is great, which I'm really happy for. But you do not have the depth to have a conversation about next year. Better than we were back in relegation last but season. Let's, the top let's not overhype what's that, happened. No, but look at the players together, you lot have picked up and look at the players they've picked up. Like you picked up I, players I, like you... Partey, Odegaard that have played in Champions League football <laughs> previously for top clubs in Europe. Jesus, Zinchenko. And look you've what they're doing nothing. it with. You've won nothing. And look what they're doing it with. Nothing. <laughs> Zero. Neither have they. What, what's the thing? No, but I'm, I, don't, I, don't get, I don't get the point. No, they haven't, but I'm you're just so, saying... You're so gassed, yeah, because <laughs> also you've won three trophies in seven years in your best ever run ever in the history of you your might, football you club. Might want and you're so trophies. gassed about it. You might want to count them trophies no, again. It doesn't maybe. matter. It doesn't, like, the whole point is, yeah, is that you have nothing really to say because your whole season has been terrible and the only thing you can talk about One is what we haven't done. The Champions League One season. It's this season. That's all it's taken. It's this season. We're mighty Arsenal. You can't just sit there and say, ah... 
dealt in the group I, stage. I, I like support Liverpool, so my year. only counter is is that we have amazing history and you're just going to sit here for 90 minutes talking about your history. Your season this year has been a joke. You've been embarrassing everybody. So and, now, now that we have to sit there and continue, we have to continue to watch you. you and now you sit here and that's your only contribution to this panel. Brother, I beg you, bro. Please have a different point of view. If you let me have All a about. word, I did. I'd probably be able to I get did. a contribution. And it was terrible. And you're just sitting over there going, Arsenal, I did, Arsenal, and it was terrible. Legend. So now we're asking you to move on Mate. to another point. Any point that you want. Pick Mate, you. I will debate you and rip you to shreds on any point you on want. What? As long as you your shut season. the fuck up. Talk about, talk about your season. All right, all right. Now let's uh, talk about your season, Can we talk about the time? But what? Slide. One season. You said any point. I one, made a point, and now you're now you're season. stuttering. We need a referee. We need stuttering. A... Let, let, let's, no, no. Let's do, let's being do... ignorant yeah. and not letting someone speak. Bro, is you, not can't, stuttering. you can't call me ignorant because now I you're being literally disrespectful. Just let's talk about the no, I literally now, just. Oh, right, right, right. Now you're being right, disrespectful. Right, right. I haven't even got the game you're started. Now, yet. Come no. on. My main worry today is Odegaard, purely because Newcastle haven't got long staff, and I can't believe I'm saying this because you could argue who's the least talented player in terms of technical ability, but he sits there in that holding role and does such a like sweep our job for us. This game has such a big feel about it. it. It's so it strange. Like, Ross in. Composure, please. Go on, lad. Brothers, just Murphy. Point. Don't you dare. Go. Go. Oh! Oh! Off the post. Oh, ready. You see what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Murphy off the post already. Bro, they, they've got Murphy on PADs, bro. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Genuinely, the Eddie Howe effect, man. The way you stopped, I thought you got the drop. No, 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 oh, okay, no, no, okay, not okay. telling me nothing oh, on I'm this. I'm telling you, no bro, way. like, this team, like... Yeah, no, nah, um... It's a big deal. Humble. Big, big deal. Shout. Penalty! Oh. Penalty, Newcastle! It's a penno! Who gave it? Jesus. Let's go. It, it was a shot from Bruno Gimmerich after a very Jesus. good, well, uh, well-worked fr- uh, corner there uh, from Trippier. And uh, Bruno was on the edge of the box, wax it in, and the, and the, the referee gave it fairly yeah. quickly here. But that, it's like I really a handball, like though. He's it. moving his hand away from the ball, though. Like... What's he meant to it do? It looked like a knee to me. Yeah, it's his knee. It's no, it's his thigh. No, it's... Yeah, it's thigh. It's his thigh. Oh, is it his thigh? Oh, it's his thigh. It is his thigh. Take that penalty away, bro. See, this agenda's a good Bastard. Yeah, it's He's his trying to cost us the league title. Oh, the rule possible? is, though, the rule is, if it touches his leg first, then it's not handball. Yeah. No, yeah. no, he's no, going to over. He's going to over. He's gonna Thank you for using your brains. Okay. This is what I'm going to say. Oh, 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 what a goal. Is it him? It's yes, my it captain. It's the man. My captain. It's the man. Yeah, Another one from outside the box as well. What a goal. That's a captain. Martin Odegaard. Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne. I could see it. He's, I could see it now. No, nah, he's <laughs> not Kevin De Bruyne, no, but he's cold. That's a De Bruyne story, isn't it? That is a, that is a yeah. De Bruyne story. Cold. This guy, this guy has he, been the so, guy for Arsenal. So Martin Arsenal Odegaard, right, has now equaled the record for most yep. non-penalty goals by a midfielder in Premier League history. Yeah. Equaled Kevin De Bruyne. He's so cool. Aged <laughs> he's 24. Very good. He's 24. Let me see this he's strike 24. as well. This is beautiful. This wasn't even in shot. The camera wasn't 24. even... He was four. He was this far out. The Virginia camera wasn't even... 24. Look at that. Woo-hoo. Through the legs of Botman uh, That's as well. not good for uh, the keeper. Left foot. Not good. But I don't think you can see that. I don't think you can see that. I don't think you can see that. No, no but that's, no. Pope no is the second best English goalkeeper in, in, in on this pitch. And it's really important that I feel like he's had a really good season. But you can't stop things like this. No, but it's from the car park, though. Flip it. No. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it bounced, and it bounced like five it times. It like five times. <laughs> man, fuck me. It was a good ball. strike, though. But no, yeah, it did bounce. It's, like, it's a decent yeah, strike. Pope... Like, I'm not taking any... Uh, like, Odegaard, world-class footballer. What? But that... We, I'm expecting better from me, keep out there. Like, that is yeah. piss poor. That. that is a great subscript, I'll tell you that. Fact. Mm. What's that based on? Because, you know, Ten Hag has... Oh, oh God, yes, oh, get in! Easy, Come on, nah, he's shoot! Took he's took too long, he's took too long. Oh, yes, yes. fucking yes. shoot! Come on, Gabby! You, you don't have to set yourself. Idiot. Fight for the badge! What are you waiting for? Fucking Christmas. Barged him with his hip. What? Oh, oh, come on, bro. Cross it open like that, man. Oh, you yes, man, get out of it. What's the vibe? Murphy, you foul. championship. This is a battle. What? Why this was that a not a foul? That that's that's mad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really disappointed yeah, with really. Newcastle in this last 10 minutes. Credit to Arsenal, don't get me wrong. They've they've been... Uh, they've been playing careful. They've, they've been playing really yeah. well, but Newcastle, the, the lack of a, um, a man to come forward One in of your defense, defense now. And, and actually offer themselves for Who's the ball. Down? People are sh- like Willock and, and people like that are shying away a little bit of the ball. They're like yeah. too happy to, oh, we're getting they're pressed pa- a little they're bit. Passing yeah. through your midfield way too Yeah, it's fucking annoying. And this what is what I mentioned about Longstaff not being here is yeah. I don't rate Longstaff on the ball, but off the ball, he runs probably more than any player we have. Oh. And that's an, an integral part of, of stopping Arsenal. Uh, Saka, chance missed here, Martinelli, I mean, uh, they've, they've been fantastic going forward, Arsenal, but this we've is, not been there. I this is what's annoying me, though, right? Thing. You can see the impact that having a more calm defender at the back can give you has had to the Arsenal team. We're building out of the back more fluidly, right? 
Where was this former Kawata, by the way, against Southampton and West Ham? Go on, go on! Willock. Oh, fucking hell, man! Ah. That. It's a good save, but it was at the keeper, innit? Yeah, fucking he had to Willock! Slot it side Honestly! Of the Listen, Joseph, we love you, we love you. Go on, go on! Oh, you bastard, Joel Linton. Arsenal have made we've, this, we've, this game scrappy. You lot have made we've it. defended pretty well. Arsenal, Arsenal are dropping like flies here. Yeah. Like, honestly, yeah, yeah. you lot need to toughen up, Marv. <laughs> no, it's a lot of dirty fouls um... <laughs> <laughs> and. No, 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 but, Brad, what was. Oh, it's a goal, it's a goal. Yes! Yes! He had to score that. He had to score that. He had to score that. Was that Odegaard as well? Yes! That's the one guy you'd expect. Just that was so happening. I saw it in slow mo. He was so composed as well. I know. I was like, it's happening. Crossing. How has he not scored? He sucks at the post with a header. Hit the post. Oh, fuck you. This happened in the first half as well, innit? You hit the post right at the start. I think this is Arsenal's day, you know. Oh! Off the bar from Mo. This has been a game, you know. This has been a game. We're backing up you guys, man. It's so fucking annoying. It's that David Beckham is that. Go on, hit it now, man. You uh, fucking what nigga. Are you doing? What, is, what oh, a tackle. Jackson. What a tackle. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't say, hold on. Don't say, a tackle, don't say a tackle. Because he should have pulled, pulled the trigger time Willick ago. Willick time ago. Willick having a fucking. What he should, he should have pulled the trigger time ago, bro. Let's be clear. And get leads out. Yes! Yes! Let's have it. Yes! Yes! We're still here. We're surviving. Oh. Surviving, bro. I, I knew that I'm was happening happy. as well. I'm, I'm taking happy. it, bro. Can I have a moment of sharing, please? We've I'm, still I'm, got I'm, I'm one moment, with us. I need a moment of one sharing. One last dance. We got it, bro. With everybody at home. We're not winning the league. So I definitely least. felt know, today that today was going to be one of those days where Newcastle just yeah. ran us off the pitch with the determination, <sighs> their physicality, and their height. And unfortunately for Brian, but fortunately for me, that has not been the case. <laughs> and we continue to march on. <laughs> you know what? I credit to you guys, but I think it's been a really close game where us hitting the post, free header at the keeper earlier in this half. The, I feel like, the, I mean, this is a bit of a, a stroke of uh, luck with a, an own goal here, a cross goes in. But he invited it though. Look, oh, yeah, look, look at this. He, look, watch how he allows but, but, him to dribble towards him. Look. But the point back I'm back making, Craig, is exactly. I think this has been a very even game where you're looking at like, the, the margins are so small. Like, I can't sit here and say Newcastle have played badly. Yeah. Not when we've dominated a, a lot of part, like, not all of this game, but we've had periods of domination. Arsenal had periods of domination. I feel like we've shown that we belong with Arsenal in this game. There's a level of quality that Arsenal have that we're just not quite there. No. And I think that this, this game has just shown, all right, we're, we're not second in the league yeah. for a reason. Th it, we're this, third. I think also, like, this is where we deserve, the team deserves just a little bit more respect in the sense of, I think because we dropped out against Man City, people thought, okay, we're going to drop down onto the Man United. No, you managed Newcastle. this game really I didn't well. Think you would. I didn't no, no, I know. No, the the competition was starting. Like, oh, the next year they might not even get top four next year. Like, I'm like, Half the team is Steve Bruce players, as Marvin rightly pointed out at the start, and there is levels, and it's unfortunate that I've just got to. Suck it up. You gotta give Arsenal their props as well. Yeah. You you guys came here today to you were scrappy. You came yeah. to fight and be physical. Uh, I think and what it is right is that he, uh, Jack has said it before after the Chelsea game. He's like, we remember last year like we got battered there. That like, we have to go there now. And he's been unbelievable yeah, this game. Yeah, I, he has. Yeah, I have to say, you you know someone's playing well against you when you start to hate them. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, I remember earlier this season uh, against Man United, Martinez. I had that feeling of, yeah. you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. You, you know, like, annoyingly yeah. having a Nine, good game. Annoyingly. Because cause they're, they're the ones who, with Newcastle, we're a fighting team. Like, we get into people, we, we make oh, it difficult. Gosh. And it's 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 a Martinez for Man United who fought back and led the fight back. Yeah. And it's Granit Xhaka today who's led the fight back for Arsenal. And, He's like, you know, you look at players like him and you think, as a Newcastle fan, if he wasn't there, maybe you'd have broken today. And that's what people like him are there for. Yeah, he talked the talk, man. He, he said, like, we're going to Newcastle. Walks to walk. Yeah, and, and you walk to walk, so you have to mm. say to what, What's really interesting, yeah, if, and again, this is like, look at the gap between Newcastle and Arsenal. So you're looking at Newcastle, their forward line, their forward six, hasn't been good enough today, and they're not consistent enough overall. But even for us, we're looking at our forward six, and we're like, all right, we're going to put Trossard on, but then Reese Nelson and Keto, who I like, I would love them to take us to another level. There's a part of me that knows that we can't compete with Man City with them in our squad. Mm. We've got to go to another level. So we're looking at players like Balagon, and we're like, I kind of want you back, but I don't know if you're good enough to come in and compete really and push mm. Gabriel Jesus. So we yeah. still need to go to another level. And it's like, it's, 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 it's thin margins and there aren't many players who can take Newcastle to the other level without diluting what they do. I, I am disappointed with the two goals, I must admit. Like, you know, when you look at the chances that we've had, Compared to what went in against us, I'm really disappointed. Yeah. Like, we, we've hit the post from a, a one that should have went in. We've literally had a free header straight at the keeper. Yeah. I mean, 
those were probably more nailed on than what actually we conceded. So that that's annoying. The best compliment I can pay is I think Arsenal played like champions today. They really uh, took their chances. Bit of genius from Odegaard. I do feel a bit unfortunate in terms of we had some better chances than Arsenal that we didn't score. But I mean, the quality showed and I think the midfield battle without having a fighter at Longstaff to do all the running there, Arsenal just played through us a bit too much, and uh, and you counteracted our shit our our um, you know fighting style with going down a lot and causing and stopping and starting the game. So yeah, what did you think of it, Babs? Yeah, I was surprised. I'll be honest. I mm. was expecting a loss. I, I really was because of how you, how good you've been at St James's Park. Mm. But seeing how Arsenal played, it was professional. Dark hearts. That's what it's about, and that is the team learning now. And I think what it is, they've seen Man City, and that's what we got against because mm -hmm. in terms of ability, I think the Arsenal first team can you know maybe win a title. But the squad wasn't quite there. And the fact that we've started Jakob Kirio today, and he was, I think he was pretty good, wasn't he? Absolutely. You know? And the fact that he's gone to a ground where you're, you're scoring goals. Mm. You've got Isak and you've got Wilson. And, you know, they had some chances. But I think overall, we defended well enough to win the game. Yeah. But look, I'm not going to be naive here. Moments went in our favour. The long shot could be saved. It might not be an on goal. It goes in our favour. And look, we, we're still there. We're still uh, the there. Way, the way I feel, you, you know, is, is, is Arsenal are still in with a chance. Yeah. But also, uh, for Newcastle, I'm like... We really competed with you yeah. today, and oh, we yeah. also showed like both of these teams next season this are going rivalry. to be there or there. This is a rivalry. You can feel it's a bit personal at times. Yeah. They're always fighting on the pitch. Yeah. The Emirates here as well. It seems like there's something like there, and I like it. I like the way Enketia and Shaw were laying yeah. on at the end. I don't, I don't want to be friends anymore. Yeah. I want to have fun. I can't fight. wait for next season. Yeah. The, 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 things can just change, you know. Of course. Let one, me let one, me rain on you lot's parade, uh, please. I'm a hater right now because we're rubbing. Let me just rain on your parade because no one even saw the top four being what it was going to be this season. No one. Bro, no Newcastle one called it top four. Of top four. No one funny, called it at the beginning of the season. So the next year it can like, change again. <laughs> Chelsea you know could be what? back. Liverpool could be. It can all change. This is this is the Premier League. Everybody could change. The one common denominator will be Everybody Manchester City and Pep Guardiola. That's Just know that.